Good afternoon everyone, Red Cross Science teacher Scott Johnson here this afternoon and wanted to talk to you about masks. Now earlier this year we did a video where we looked at the effectiveness of masks in helping you to stop spreading air molecules to other people. We know that masks are effective this way. We took masks that were both cloth and masks that were uh, the medical grade quality and we put them through a variety of tests. We couldn't blow out a candle. We couldn't blow bubbles. We couldn't even blow up a balloon. We couldn't blow out a birthday candle. Okay. Today I wanted to show you something else. A common misconception sometimes is that masks sometimes affect the breathing of people or that it causes someone to have a reduced amount of oxygen and they could be in danger of passing out. But today I want to show you a small demonstration to show you exactly how that really isn't true. This is a fingertip uh, pulse oxid uh, oximeter, and what it does is you can place it on your fingertip, and it gives you a readout of the percentage of oxygen in your blood. It'll also let us know this one in particular, what our pulse is. Like, for example, right now, my oxygen level is 98%. I have a pulse of 84. I'm all excited. Just got done with my meetings with our classes today. Okay. You even see my heartbeat right here. A little up and down motion. Okay. So I'm fluctuating right there. You can see 97% now. 98, 97 going around there. So check it out. What if I add a mask? This is a standard cloth mask. Just like I might wear in class. Okay. Now. Still setting around 97%, right? Let it hold there for a little bit. You might even see that I go to 98. There we are, okay? Now, what if we increase that load, okay? For example, what if I say put on a different type of mask, okay? Here are the paper masks. Here's one. But let's up the ante today. Let's go bigger. What about two? What about... Three. Okay, we'll press, we'll pull. Okay, we're good. Yeah. What about four? What about five? Wow. Okay, here I am. So now we're at five masks. Five. Okay, we're going to activate. We're going to press on. Okay. And now let's get a look. With five masks, now our reading, I'm at 99% of oxygen percentage. Okay, there I am right around 98. You can see my pulse is still holding right around steady. My heartbeat, having a good old time today. Okay, there we go. Nice. Let's add some more masks. So we're at five now. Let's see if we add more masks, if that causes the percentage of oxygen in our blood to go down. All right, here we go. Six. What about seven? Eight? What about nine? What about ten? What about eleven? Oh! <laughs> all right we have 11 masks on now obviously it makes it a bit harder to talk but we have them spread we got a good seal and i'll tell you what just for fun let's go back with this cloth mask now we got 12 masks all right there we go Presley, would you come around behind me? This is my daughter, Presley. Presley, if you'll hold the, the straps right there behind my ear and hold the straps behind this one. Yep. There you go. If you'll hold those. Perfect. All right. So now we have 12 masks on, or yeah, 12, 12 masks on. Okay. So now, once again, we're going to activate. Okay. I'm going to place it on my finger, and let's see how we do. Getting our reading at this time. 98% oxygen level. 86 on the pulse. And there's my heartbeat. All steady strong. Okay. So as we can see, 
the masks themselves, and you would never be in a situation where you had to wear this many, but the masks themselves are not causing any type of breakdown in my percentage of oxygen, okay? We could go even farther. If I were to take all of these masks, okay, Presley, I'm just going to pop here, okay? Hold them back there. There we go. Now we're at 25, okay? We're 25. Ah! All right, here we go. On and four. We're getting our reading, and at this time, boo shakalaka. Woohoo. All right, thank you, Presley. <laughs> So as you can see, that was a not lot only, of masks. That was a lot of masks. So as we can see, masks not only help to protect the people around you from the air that you exhale, it also helps to protect you from the air that someone else is exhaling. Wearing a mask in public is more about being thoughtful to the people around you than it is just being thoughtful about yourself. Okay? And as you can clearly see here, you would never be in a situation where you would have to layer 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26 masks as we just did. But even if you were, it would not lead to a drop off in the amount of oxygen found in your blood. This is Red Cross Science teacher Scott Johnson. Thank you for your time and attention.